Hi everyone, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I've got a video tutorial today for you showing you how to make this simple but pretty card using some new products from our spring mini catalog by Stampin' Up! and celebration free items. I'm super excited. This catalog goes live, both of them go live today, January 5th. And I've got a promotion going on right now that when you place a $35 order with me um, through January 8th, you will receive a free card kit to make this card and three others, all from the comfort of your home. If you place a $50 order with me, you will get the free card kit and a free embellishment using the host code that you see on your screen. So let's get started with the tutorial. The following you're about to watch is a clip from my Make It Monday Facebook Live from January 4th where I did a catalog kickoff event. I hope you enjoy, have a great day. Just think about when you stock up on your angels singing seal adhesives and dimensionals and glue dots. I always take my discount and all the freebies during celebration and I stock up on adhesive for the year. I stock up on paper for the year. And I always order my 12 month paper pumpkin subscription for the year because I get all sorts of freebies with it. It's amazing. So, oh my goodness, I'm dropping things here. Okay, let's start creating. What do you think? The first card I'm going to make. Gotta, is using a new stamp set from the occasions, sorry, occasions, spring catalog. I keep using the old name. <clears throat> Just getting some stuff in line here, guys. Don't mind me. Um, I just want to show you because while I'm not using it on this card, this oval occasion stamp set is a bundle with um, this punch. So that's in the new catalog. And I've got a couple pieces of paper cut here. So you can see here in my kit, I've got a card base. This is in Rococo Rose. This is a half a sheet of cardstock the tall way, so this is a tall card. Um, sorry, I'm trying to hold this paper while I talk to you. This is four and a quarter inches wide by 11 inches tall, and then I scored it at five and a half and folded and creased it. I've got another piece of Rococo Rose that is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got some scraps here that we'll be doing some fun stuff with. We're going to be using some circle punches tonight, too. Um, and then I've got three scraps here that all come from the same designer series paper. And I'm just going to take a minute and show you how I cut these. So <clears throat> thank you, Sharon. I agree. It's a super cute stamp set. Um, this paper is called Paper Blooms, designer series paper. I've been using it a ton, but as you can see, of course it's double-sided. Really adorable, I love that one, patterns. This is another freebie with Celebration. Isn't this cute? Love it. So. I just want to show you for a minute how I cut these strips um, because it is um, a really great way 
to use a touch of designer series paper and there's a kind of a simple way to do this. <clears throat> so these strips are a half an inch wide. So I took my 12 inch by 12 inch piece of DSP. I've been cutting it down, but this side is still 12 inches. So you want to cut the full 12 inches, okay? And I'm lining it up with my half inch mark and I just cut a strip off. Now, once I have my strip, I'm actually gonna get three designs out of here by cutting, snipping this here at four inches. So I've got four inches and four inches. And then this last piece, because we cut it at a 12 inch piece is also four inches. Now, these papers coordinate with each other. So as you can see, these go together like this. So I keep two of them right side up and one of them flipped over. And that's how we're going to make our card for tonight. <clears throat> so that's just a little trick for those of you who want to duplicate this card to doing your cutting so that it's really simple. I'm gonna put these away quick, out of the way. Put these out of the way. All right. We are also using tonight a new embossing folder. This is the painted texture 3D embossing folder. And we're going to get out our big boss. I love this thing. Super smooth, amazing. And I'm making my sandwich. So remember, right on your die cutting sheet, it tells you how to set this up. So when I'm using it with a 3D embossing folder, it tells me I just need number one and number four. I think this is number four. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna take this um, four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of Rococo Rose, stick it in our embossing folder. And I'm gonna roll that through. This cranks so much easier than my Big Shot. I love it so much. Bernetta says she loves the paper. I love it too. It's really happy, bright colors, makes for a wonderful um, birthday card or celebration card, just amazing. All right, this is my favorite thing when I open up a new embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? It looks like textured paint on a wall. This is so, so, so beautiful in person. Like this video doesn't even do it justice, but it's gorgeous. <clears throat> okay, this card is so incredibly simple. You're gonna love it. Okay, I am gonna take my seal. We're about to hear angels sing. Oops, I didn't even start this yet because I just opened it. Okay, and I'm going to glue this down. Wait a minute, am I gluing this down? Yep, I am gluing this down. I can't remember if I glued it or if I popped it up on dimensionals. All right. Whoops. Let's try and get this centered. How about that? Okay. Yes, Rhonda, it is very cool. I love it. I actually love the tone on tone of this embossing folder with the same color background. I think it's beautiful. Okay. And now we've got these pieces that we cut out from our 
designer series paper. So the finished pieces here are half inch wide by four inches long. And I don't wanna get glue everywhere. So I'm getting out my silicone mat and I'm gonna lay down one strip here in the center. And the other side is gonna be flipped up right below it. Line that up straight. I love the embossing folder too, Sharon. It's so beautiful. I can't even, that's the hard thing about these videos is it's like some of the stuff you just can't even appreciate how beautiful it is until you see it in person. All right, so there is our strips glued down to our card front piece coordinating with our card front and now we are going to do a little stamping so this oval occasions has a lot of different stamps we've got happy birthday time to celebrate these adorable little bunnies um, this could be like a little shamrock so lucky to know you there's a thank you, a little welcome little one for a baby. I'm gonna use happy birthday. And I'm going to use these stars. There's also hearts in here, similar to the stars. That would be great for Valentine's Day or anniversary or really anything. Okay. I'm looking for my stamp pad. Here we go. Knight of Navy. I re-inked this today, so. Oh, you know what I never did? I never changed out my paper. I guess you're gonna have to see my mess, guys. Actually, before I do this, let me punch this out. That way I can kinda Okay, so I'm using my two inch circle punch and I'm just going to punch a piece of Rococo Rose. As you can imagine, I love that color, of course. And I'm going to stamp happy birthday right there in the center. And then I'm going to grab my Rococo Rose ink. And I'm going to take these stars and I'm going to stamp off. I'm going to go this way. And then just diagonally, I'm going to stamp the subtle ink across this circle. Now I'm going to close this so that I don't drop my piece in it. But I'm going to hold this up. Do you see how, oops, wrong way, how these stars are very subtle behind the happy birthday? And take my two and a quarter inch punch and I'm gonna cut a circle out of um, Night of Navy. We're gonna glue these together, whoops. So I'm just going to center this and glue these layers together. Super easy. And I will grab some dimensionals. We're going to pop this layer up. Sharon says, I need to use Rococo Rose more than what I have done so far. You know what's really funny, Sharon, is 
um, until I started playing around with the spring catalog stuff, I hadn't used Rococo Rose very often, and it is now one of my favorite colors. I really love the tone of it. I actually use it a lot in my creations now. I just really, really love um, how it looks. Okay, so we're almost done with our card. What do you think so far? Are you liking this? Um, I have got, I wanna bring in a little neutral palette here. Um, so I've got my braided linen trim and I'm gonna cut a piece of this. And I'm just gonna tie this in a simple bow. Like this. Get my loops the length I want them. I think this looks good. And then I'm gonna use a glue dot and stick it right here on the knot of the bow. So just pick that up from our glue dot sheet. And then I'm gonna tuck it right here by our circle layers. And then once it's on here, I kind of have an idea how short I want those ends. Then I trim the ends. What do you think? There's our first card. Adorable, right? Super simple. Now here's the cool thing. I took a look at the different colors um, in our DSP. And actually, before we move on to that, we, we gotta stamp our envelope, you guys. Some stars in the corner there. Cute, simple. Um, I took a look at all of the um, colors in the designer series paper. Cleaning up my stamps here. And I played around with some other color combinations. So, here we've got another one in petal pink. And then one in soft sea foam. And one in, sorry, this is soft sea foam. This is seaside spray. I was looking at this card as I put this one down. Aren't these adorable? All four of these simple, coordinating cards. You've got some fun texture, a little ribbon, <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm gonna show you something really cool. As part of my catalog kickoff, I'm gonna offer a little promotion to you. When you guys order tomorrow after the catalog goes live, any order that you place with me using this host code, that's at least $35, is going to get a card kit to make all of these cards. Let me show you what's in here. So here you go. You have, I've already embossed that layer for you. And you get one of each color to make on your own. And I have also already included for you all of your punch circles and all of your strips that you need. They're tucked behind here. So this will be my gift to you as a thank you for placing at least a $35 order with me between um, tomorrow the 5th and 
the 8th, which is Friday, by noon. Your orders have to be in by noon on Friday, and you have to use this host code. Now, here's another bonus. If you place a $50 order, I will include the card kit to make all these cards, and I will include an embellishment from the new catalog. So maybe these pretty opal rounds, or maybe these matte black dots. I haven't decided yet, but it'll be fabulous and you'll love it, I promise. So you will get with a $50 order, the kit and an embellishment, a $35 order, you'll get the kit. Your orders have to be placed using that host code and they have to be placed before noon on Friday. Anytime between tomorrow and Friday. All right.